there it is that's my uh, DeWalt bracket mounting bracket I can't alter the file so I guess maybe this will have to motivate me to learn how to create my own file now before I had the bed line you see those mounting the screw points I had issues with them laying down and I wasn't getting very good adhesion to the bed. So I switched to the uh, bigger filament, leveled the bed, wiped it down with uh, rubbing alcohol. And so far, it's looking very promising. Also, there's a lot of different ways to hook up a webcam so you can monitor this from your network or other location but uh, if you follow this channel I'm a big fan of the uh, WISE cameras they work off of Wi-Fi they're accessed through your smartphone or your uh, Google Nest Hub so I think that's something that we can actively watch live And get a feed to see what's going on <coughs> relatively inexpensive uh, everything about this machine is aluminum so we'll have to come up with a mounting solution but I think that'll be a nice cheap alternative to see what's going on with our uh, printing process once we get everything dialed in so this way I could uh, sit on my ass and do other things like uh, catch up on channel, catch up on some shows or do something else. Man, it's doing it. This is awesome. kind of a big bracket though but I want to learn how to create my own G code I could alter it I tried to modify this existing code but uh, the way it was coded they don't let you modify it so Whatever. There are other um, mounts that are a bit more streamlined. Maybe I'll look at that. Like I said, for now I'm not interested in creating. I just want to do stuff. Get used to this uh, whole process. And then eventually uh, when I feel more comfortable with it, I'll start making my own code with like a Tinkerbot file or something like that. We're about 50 minutes into it so far. I don't have a clue how long this is going to actually take. But originally a similar file to this has said four hours or four and a half hours. That was with the smaller nozzle. Hopefully this will shave it down in half. So, there it is, people. There's the uh, final print. Hopefully, it works. Looks like it came in just shy of two hours. Not bad. Pop this thing off, see if it fits in the tool. As you could see, as you could see, there's a lot of perforations in there. Even though it does seem pretty durable. But when you look at the back side, 
it's actually very smooth just get a close up on it you could see the infill I'm not saying it needs to be solid I'm just saying maybe my nozzle being as big as it is even though it's spitting them out fast um, might not make the best quality but that's not to say that uh, yeah you see right here there's a little imperfection but that's not to say that I couldn't make a uh, hybrid out of this and just fill this in with some type of epoxy to give it some rigidity around the strength points but ideally I think I could whack out all this part here they usually call it like a scuff bar or something like that I don't really care about that too much or just make this part here if I can make this part here solid and put a couple fasteners like the one I seen that would be nice and it would knock out all this substructure took where were we at about 50 minutes so if we remove a lot of that I could probably make this in about an hour and 15 minutes if I make just that and fasten it not bad pretty cool okay here's the moment of truth now I'm at the moment of truth Slides in there pretty good. Pretty positive. It hangs. This actually might be strong enough. I don't know about hanging it this way, like a lot of those people show. But definitely you can hang it that way and that's the way I want to hang it. I want to hang it from underneath of a shelf. We'll take a closer look at this. I think I'll have to practice on this a little bit more to get it dialed into what I want.